We've already looked at solving systems of equations involving two variables like x and y. We're going to take that one step further and look at equations involving three variables. So let's say we have this system of equations. We have x plus 2y uh, plus z equals 9. We have 3y minus z equals negative 1. We have 3z equals 12. Now we could certainly graph all three of these, but that would be kind of tedious. So we're going to take a look at how we can solve this using substitution. Let's look for a, an equation that would be simple to solve for a variable. I like this third one, uh, 3z equals 12. That's pretty simple to solve for z. If we divide both sides by 3, we find that z equals 4. Now we can um, put this in for any equation involving z. We can just put in 4. If we put 4 in the second equation, we'd only have one variable left. If we put z in the first equation, we'd still be left with x and y, and we wouldn't know what to do with those um, x's and y's. So let's take the second equation, uh, 3y minus z. We can put in 4 for z equals negative 1. Then we'll add 4 to both sides to get that y term by itself. We get 3y equals 3. Let's divide by 3. We get y equals 1. Now we know z. We know y. All that's left to find is x, so let's take that top equation. We have x plus 2y, so 2 times 1, remember y is equal to 1, plus z, remember z is 4, is going to equal 9. So x plus 2 plus 4 equals 9, or x plus 6 equals 9. We'll take 6 from both sides. And we'll get x is equal to 3. So we have um, our solution that x is 3, y is 1, and z is 4. All right, so let's apply this to a real-life example. Let's say we have three customers at a burger joint, Carmen, uh, Jack, and... Carol. Carmen spends five dollars and ninety-five cents at this place. Um, Jack spends ten forty-one, and Carol spends five dollars and thirty-five cents. So then, Carmen, we know has bought two burgers, um, one order of fries, and, and uh, two sodas. So we're going to call burgers B, fries F, sodas S. We know that Jack orders three burgers, uh, three french fries, and three sodas. Carol orders one burger. She orders two orders of french fries. And she orders two sodas. Apparently there's no free refills at this burger place. So we know that Carmen's two burgers, one fry, and two sodas totaled at $5.95. We know that Jack 
uh, he has three burgers, uh, three fries, and three sodas total to ten dollars and forty one cents. We know that Carol, her uh, one burger, two fries, and two sodas total to five dollars and thirty five cents. So we can use this system of equations to find the unit price for burgers, fries, and soda. All right. So last time we used uh, eliminate or substitution to find our variables. This time we're going to go ahead and try using um, elimination. So what I want to do is I'm going to take the first two equations, write them out this way, 2b plus f plus 2s equals 595, and 3b plus 3f plus 3s equals 10 41. Not necessarily an easy way to eliminate those ones. So we can uh, consider using one of these variables as a um, lowest common multiple. We can either do B, F, or S. I'm going to choose F. Since if I multiply this by 3, um, I'm only going to have to multiply one equation. So if I multiply that by 3, I get 6b plus 3f plus 6f. 595 times 3. I'm going to have to pull out the calculator for that one. And that comes out to 17.85. Let's move this one underneath it. We get 3B plus 3F plus 3S equals 10.41. Let's subtract those, and then that way we'll get rid of our F variable. We get 3B, those cross out, um, plus, sorry, that should be, should be an S here. 6 minus 3 is 3 S. Remember we're subtracting these equations to get rid of our F variable. And that's going to equal 7.44. So now we have an equation with two variables involved. Let's take a look at the, um, the other two equations we can use there. We have 3b plus 3f plus 3s equals 10.41. We have b plus 2f plus 2s equals 5.35. Again, nothing I can directly uh, cancel out. So we'll use the lowest common multiple. Um, I'm going to do this bottom one. I'm going to multiply it by 3 so my b's will cancel out. That way I only have to multiply 1. So if we bring this over, we have, again, 3b plus 3f plus 3s equals 1041. We have 3b plus 6f plus 6s equals um, 3 times 5.35 is going to give me 16.05. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract these to get rid of that B variable. So we have uh, we're left with negative 3F plus negative 3S is negative 564. And I apologize for that. Um, I wrote these two equations up here again. I forgot the variables we actually wanted to get it in are B and S. So we actually want to again 
cancel out this f variable. To do that, we're going to have to turn them both into their lowest common multiple, which is 6. So I'm going to multiply this top one by 2 to make that a 6f. I'm going to multiply this bottom by 3 to make that a 6f. So we're going to get 6b plus 6f plus 6s equals 20.82. If I multiply that whole thing out by 2, and if I multiply the bottom by 3, we'll get 3b plus 6f plus 6s equals um, 16.05. And then I can subtract that bottom one from the top one. That way my f's will cancel out. So I get 6 minus 3 is 3b. I get these to cancel out. And actually, my 6s's cancel out as well. So I'm left with 20.82 minus 16.05. And that's going to give me 4.77. So b, I can actually solve for, is going to give me... 1.59 for B. Now I know B, I can plug this B in for this B. So let's do that up here. We know that 3 times 1.59 plus 3S equals 7.44. So 4.77 uh, plus 3S equals 7.44. Subtract 4.77 from each side, we get 3s is equal to 2.67. Let's divide both sides by 3. We end up getting s is equal to 89, 0.89 or 89 cents. So we found out the soda is 89 cents each, a burger is a buck 59 apiece. Now we have these two variables. We can plug them in for any of these three equations to solve for um, f. So let's get all of our work out of the way. Um, so we're going to have, uh, let's just use, I don't know, the bottom equation. So we'll put um, 1.59 plus 2f plus 2 times 0.89. Again, that's coming from there, and that's coming from there, is equal to 5.35. So we get 1.59 plus 2f plus uh, 1.78 equals 5.35. Um, let's subtract these numbers, 1.59 and 1.78 from both sides. We get 2f uh, is equal to 1.98. And let's divide both sides by 2. We get f equals... 99 cents. So a fry costs 99 cents. So those are our three answers. The soda costs 89 cents, the fries cost 99 cents, and the burgers cost $1.59. Um, notice I didn't have necessarily know how that was going to work out. I just kind of eliminated and subbed numbers in. Uh, as long as you use those two methods in some way to get rid of one variable at a time, um, it's a lengthy, lengthy process, but you should be able to come up with an answer for all three of your variables. And that concludes our lesson.